I have a for instance now that I know is not part of your life. And it has to do with this. Think of a time when you really wanted your parents to do something. To take you somewhere, to stop somewhere on the way home, to buy you something, to let you get something special. And they said, no. That never happens, right? It does? Well, it certainly happened in my life, I'll tell you that. How did it make you feel? Sad? Yeah, angry. Disappointed? What's that? Depends what it is and how bad you want it. This is something you wanted really bad. You've been thinking about it all day. What's that? Well, this is something you can't work for. Are you going to stop the car when Dad's driving? Are you going to roll out on the way and go get Dairy Queen or something? Good luck with that. It makes you angry. It makes you disappointed. It makes you wonder, why did they say no? Are they mad at me? Are they just trying to be mean? Well, have you ever prayed to God about something? And it seemed like he said no? Like he didn't answer? If you haven't, it's coming. There's times when I've prayed to God about stuff and it seemed like he never answered. It seemed kind of like maybe he wasn't even paying attention. There's going to be times coming when you might really need something when you grow up, like a job, help with some kind of tragedy, help with healing for a loved one, and you pray and it doesn't seem like anything happens. You read the Psalms and they're full of people crying out to God and saying, if you turned your face away from me, where are you? Well, when your parents say no, does it mean they don't love you? Doesn't mean that, does it? So even more so, when it seems like God is saying no, does that mean he doesn't love you? Absolutely not. And whenever you might think that he doesn't love you or doesn't care, you look right back up there to the cross and Jesus showed you how much he loves you and how much he cares for you. Came down, suffered in your place, never had to suffer any pain, yet did so. Suffered all the pain that you were due because of your sins, also that you could be forgiven and have eternal life. That's him saying, this is how much I love you. He forgives you for all the times when you're mad because he doesn't do what you want him to do. Or all the times you're upset with mom and dad because they don't do what you want him to do. You know, he's the one and only God, created all things, sustains all things. He knows better than we do when we should have things, when the perfect time is and what we should have. That's kind of like your mom and dad. There was times I wanted mom and dad to stop and get ice cream on the way home and they didn't. That's because they knew when I got home I had something better. I had a healthier dinner waiting for me and if we would have stopped and got ice cream, I would have been too full. What they had was much better for me, even though I didn't realize it at the time. And that's true in our lives, too. There's times when God says no, and you may not understand what the better thing was now, but later on you will. And I guarantee you, if the answer doesn't come in this life, when you see Jesus on the last day, you'll understand and agree with completely everything that he said yes and no to in your life. Because he loves you so much. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the times you say yes, the times you say no, the times when you say wait, and for the time you said I love you this much by dying on the cross and rising again. No matter what happens in my life, keep my faith strong in you. In your name I pray. Amen. Thanks, girls. You can head back to your seats. I do hope you don't get any no's today, but you might. Mom and Dad still love you. <laughs>